Long ago, before there was Tragic the Garnering, there was Tragic the Comic Book Guy. Before I got back into Magic the Gathering, I was way into buying all the comic books that I wanted and couldn't afford when I was a kid. Many years later, I think I'm over it. So I'm ready to start unloading some of these comics as I had always planned, and we're gonna take a look at some of those now. With Avengers Endgame coming out soon, I thought now was a good time to start selling all of the spec comics that I had bought in preparation for that movie years and years ago before it even was a movie. I'd always been interested in buying up first appearances and hoping that they would increase in value once their respective movies came out. And that time seems to be now. So I'm going to go through a few of these and show them off to you. First off, I want to show you a book that I got really high hopes for. I picked this up off of the street today. It's Space Punisher number four. It's a limited series, so you know it's going to be worth a lot someday. It's, uh, it's got a couple condition issues. I think this might still pull maybe a 9.4, maybe a 9.6 CGC. It's got a little bit of curling here. Um, there's a little bit of some bindery flaws here. Uh, but the staples are intact. And look, it comes with a free digital copy um, that you see inside for. So check this out. This is uh, one of the classic uh, comic books from way back in, I think, 2012. Yeah, this is the one where the Punisher's in space. And that's, that's awesome. I mean, how, how could you not want to see the Punisher go up against some egghead guys from space and a four-armed Hulk? looking guy maybe that is the Hulk I don't know because I never read it um, but there he is that's what you want so I'm hoping this will pull a decent amount uh, make sure I put it back here in this uh, protective sleeve uh, before I throw it in the trash up next I got Avengers number 54 which I did not pay 150 bucks for I actually paid more like 25 bucks for this it's a decent book I believe this is the first cameo of Ultron. He's in here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. I think he's like right at the end, actually. Well, there he is, just as a robot. I think that doesn't actually count as the real Ultron, though. So, but that was it. So, ready to let this one go. Let's check it out. This one actually does have. Um, a bit of wear on the side there, but it's still a solid book. I'm going to put this into like a fine minus. Um, it should be fully intact. Got a little bit of staple pull there. But now it's time to take pictures and put it up on eBay. And I'll uh, try to see what I can get for it. Next up, I got X Factor number six. First appearance of Apocalypse. I'm a little late to the party on this. The plan always was to sell out books when uh, when the movie came out of the character to try to maximize the value. Um, this one I obviously did not get it sold when X-Men Apocalypse came out and I think that's partly due to my lack of interest in that movie. <laughs> I don't know, there was something about it that just did not resonate with me, but this is definitely like a very near mint copy. Um, this would probably do like a 9.4, 9.6. But uh, I really don't actually grade comics. I don't send them out to be graded anyway. I, I have bought a few that are already CGC graded, as you'll see later. Um, but this one in particular, I would not actually send out. I'm just actually going to sell this raw. So there it is for now. Next up, we got Aquaman number 35, first appearance of Black Manta. This is another one that I either missed the boat on because I didn't get it sold uh, when the movie came out, or it might actually have some room to grow since I'm sure Black Manta will feature pretty prominently in the next Aquaman movie. So, it's currently undecided if I'm actually going to sell this one, but I'm going to at least show it off and... Uh, I'll take pictures and get ready in case I do want to sell it. So there it is. Pretty nice copy. I think I picked up this one for about 40 bucks way back in about 2010. Let's take a quick flip through. I think this book is a solid fine. 
even with the creasing up at the top, it really lays flat. Got that off-white pages. There's Black Manta. Pretty cool stuff. If you don't like looking at old comic books, then you're not a nerd, I guess, right? I am. There it is. Next up, we got Marvel Super Heroes number 12 and number 13. Look at that glare. So number 12 is the first appearance of Captain Marvel. And number 13 is the first appearance of Carol Danvers, the other Captain Marvel. Um, so these, uh, I did not pay 40 bucks for this one. I probably paid more like 100. This uh, one I know I paid 140 for, so. Um, this was a while back, so hopefully they've gone up a bit. So time to take pictures and get them on eBay. The coming of Captain Marvel. Mm, look at that. See that something that you're gonna want to show off to the buyers on eBay. So I like to go through and make sure that anyone I'm selling this to knows exactly what they're getting. So that's the second page got a little tear in the staple, but that's it's tough on these square binder books like that. So but I don't want to ruin it anymore, so we're just gonna go to the back here. Yep. There she is. Miss Danvers. Next up, Tales of Suspense, number 57. So, another Avengers Endgame tie-in. This is the first appearance of Hawkeye. So, that says it's a fine minus. I'm inclined to believe that. I, uh... I haven't opened that tape in a while. Let's be careful. Gosh. Alright, so. This book, I feel like, uh, is undervalued compared to some of the others in this range. But uh, Hawkeye's never been super top tier. I like him. He's fun. But... Um, hoping to get uh, more than what I paid for this which was probably about 80 90 bucks I'm thinking and that was again probably seven eight years ago so picture time Next up, got another kind of a big deal for Avengers Endgame. I've got Iron Man number 55, which is the first appearance of Thanos. And also of Drax and Mentor and Fire Lord and these guys and some other people. So this is a book that I actually paid about 140 bucks for this. 
I'm hoping that in this condition, which is a solid VF, um, I think it might even could grade for like a 7.5, 8.0, something like that. I'm hoping to get uh, quite a bit more for it than that. So I'm going to open it up and take a look through it and take some pictures and it'll end up on eBay. Um, not big on slabbing. I've never sent anything into CGC. Um, so I don't intend to do that with this one. Maybe I could squeeze a little more value out of it. Honestly, I think this book is uh, currently about as high as it's going to get um, without slabbing it, which I don't really want to do. Um, I think the hype is going to hit maximum level next week after the movie comes out. And uh, I think it's going to then kind of die down after that. So kind of wanting to get it sold right now. I don't need to keep it forever. It was always the plan to turn around and flip this. Um, and so once the, once the auction ends, I'll uh, maybe do an update and see how I did on this. But uh, for now, let's check it out. There he is. Old Purple Jaw himself. Picture of that. Oh look, he was just a robot all along. Hope that doesn't hurt the value. I want a chop cycle. That thing looks awesome. All right. Okay, last but certainly not least, I do have a Tales of Suspense number 52. And this one is graded even though it is a PGX instead of a CGC. I know, right? I should just throw this in the garbage. Nobody wants PGX. Well, here's your chance if you wanna buy this one Crack it open and have it re-slabbed in CGC. You're more than welcome to. I'm pretty sure I paid about $250 for this. Um, it's, I think, worth substantially more than that now. Um, and there's nothing to flip through because it's encased in this plastic. So, to me, honestly, I actually like collecting comics in um, Imperfect. I actually really love the fine range the fine to very fine range it just shows that they've had a little bit of use they've been around the block but not so bad that they're damaged um, they're very readable as long as the colors look good and the the cover looks mostly fine i, I like this grade a lot so um of course it's not as worth as much as uh, uh, a 9.8 but i also would never be able to afford 9.8 silver age keys like this so I'm very happy to have this. I've had it for a while. There's really nothing else for me to do with it other than to flip it for some money. That's how it goes with this hobby, right? So take some pictures of it, throw it on eBay. I'll have a link to the eBay auction. If anyone's interested in bidding on it or at least seeing the results, it'll be up there. First appearance of the Black Widow, in case I didn't mention it before. All right, anyway, that's it for me today. I got a lot more comic books to eventually sell. Um, I'll probably do this from time to time when I think the uh, books are as hot as they're gonna be. Um, I got a lot of first appearances. I sold off about 20 long boxes of stuff that I collected from 1991 to 2011 that was worth, you know, 25 cents each. That's how it goes. You only get the big bucks on the big first appearances. 
So that's it. Catch you on the next one.